So team, welcome back to the day seven uh, for our QDP training. Uh, what we're going to do today is going to be a little modification over what we've been doing earlier, right? So here is the Excel, right? And we also know that we've put our test data in here. We are able to give instructions through our script as to what to take as inputs and what to bring out as the outputs, compare them and get the results, correct team? So the way we've been doing it is we have used the reusable read and write functions in our script to be able to uh, give instructions as to what cell to read and what cell to write back into, correct? But what happens team is every time I have to read one cell, QTP has to perform these steps and these steps require us to open Excel applications to open different objects and read things. So it is time consuming for sure. And hence, in our script, what we did is we put together the uh, timer piece where we are able to get the time as to how long it is taking for this execution to happen. Okay, so this is one version of doing things team. The other version of doing the same thing is by using arrays. Uh, when we use arrays team, what happens is instead of reading one cell at a time, I can give instruction to read an entire row or I can read an entire Excel sheet at one go. Okay. Then after I've read it into a two-dimensional array, we can use it however which way we want within our application, within our main script, how we navigate within it and so on. The issue is going to be around that uh, that is a good improvement over it and um, if you go visit our library uh, in screencast.com there are already about uh, how many are there uh, there are a couple of videos on arrays that I want you to watch offline please whenever you get a chance go to your QTP SCP 2011 folder in here search for do a control F and search for arrays and you will find two uh, videos on this, okay, arrays one and two. This is a continuation of data driven framework from a previous batch. You could watch these two videos to get a good solid overview on the arrays part of you, okay. What we will do today is I will use a third way to work with Excel and that's using inbuilt data tables. Uh, QTB has got one very neat feature called data tables. If you go to view and select data tables, you will see that out here. It is an Excel-like table that is present inbuilt with QTP, one for every action that's called by the action name, and then there is one called global, which is for all the different